today. Let's go ahead and start this break. I might, you know, I might have to do what you say though, G man. You uh, you're usually right about these things. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and start our eBay breaks. The lone eBay break for the day, 1819 hoops basketball, five box break number six. All right. I uh, usually gotta test these cards out. Well, the settings are good. All right. Let me grab the stuff though. That would be important, right? What's up, G man? What'd you do for the uh, for Valentine's Day? Did you take your uh, significant other somewhere somewhere fancy, or maybe you stayed in and played uh, Apex Legends on the PlayStation all day? for later put that over there oh nice g-man nice that's it's a scam anyway you know just save your money Grateful that this is the last of this. We will not be getting any more hoops. No offense to the people that bought into it. This cool stuff is just as a breaker. This is not a, a breaker friendly product. A lot of cards. So I'm grateful that it's only a five box break. And not a full case. A full case would be 20 boxes of this stuff. Today is the uh, the All Star festivities begin today. They have the uh, the rookie sophomore game, which that's not what they call it anymore. I think they call it the Rising Stars USA versus the World. Should be interesting. We got some more stuff in the store. We got Panini One Football in the store. We have six cases of that back in the store. We also have a little pre-sale going. We have three cases of Impeccable Basketball in the store. We're actually giving away the Mavericks. All you have to do is buy a team and you could win the Mavericks in addition to that. And we also got Select Football too in the store. So if you want to go ahead and just pick your team up, you can definitely uh, definitely do that. What's up, kids? Play. How are you doing, my good sir? That's really no. There's no way. This is Hoops Basketball Kids Play for Life. This is an eBay break. Got one auto per box, and there it is. Elio Kobo for the Suns, the autograph. Whole bunch of base. I would like to call this is like a starter set, you know? Like if you're just getting into the hobby. Oh, it's two autographs per box. Nice. 
Here we have Arvidas Sabonis. Very, very nice. Legendary European baller right there. Yeah, I like to call this a nice little starter set. Ronnie Hood, 189 Cavs. A lot of base cards. Super simple design. There's nice stuff. But not exactly high end product. Purple Rubio. Some cool little inserts here and there. Trying to get that Luca though. That kid's been killing it. How they did not let that kid in the uh, in the All Star game, I'll never know. He definitely has played well enough to make it to the All Star game. He's gonna ball out tonight though. During the uh, rookie sophomore game, he's gonna show out. Derrick Rose, 199 Timberwolves. Shout out to Derrick Rose, who has rejuvenated his uh, his career this season. Anthony Davis uh, got the GM fired. Or maybe the GM got the GM fired over there for the Pelicans. During the All-Star break, great, great uh, timing. <laughs> DeMarcus Cousins to 10 for the Warriors. It's cool with the little gold trim there. Is there football on tonight? Does the AAF play today? Don't they play like Fridays and Saturdays or something like that? Not for nothing. I, I saw, what was it, last Saturday? I saw a game last Saturday. It's not bad, man, honestly. It's not bad. You know, the, some of the uniform and some of the, uh, the, the mascots or whatever are a little funky. But, you know, what's, you know it's, it's a new product. It's to be expected, I guess. But I love me some fool's ball. Right? It's not bad, Walter. It's not it's not bad. They actually let the players hit, believe it or not. Right. I've been talking about it for like the past week or so. And I like what some people think about it. It's it's kind of like uh, it might end up being kind of like the minor league. You know what I mean? Kind of like the farm system in baseball where you have single A, double A, triple A. And then you have the major leagues. That, that could kind of be the same deal with football. You know, you got the AAF, which would be like the minor league, maybe the triple A. And then you have the NFL, which would be the big leagues. What's up, JMS? How are you? Eventually, it would be cool if you could, like, travel around the world, you know? And every every country or something has, like, a football team. That would be kind of cool. Obviously, technology has not advanced to the point where we could actually do something like that. Unless it was, like, a four-year tournament, like the World Cup. That would be dope. Could you Could you imagine that? That would be sick. You have your North America champion, your South America champ, like all the continents come against each other for a for a final tournament every every like three or four years, like the World Cup. 
And then you can truly call yourself the world champs. I find that funny uh, uh, in American sports. Is like in the NFL, you only play American teams, but you call yourself world champs. You only played people from one, like you only played people from one country. Like, what about the other thousands of countries that are out there? Can't call yourself the world champs. The North America champs for show. Anyways, let's see what else is in here. I love Steph Curry to nine 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 nine. Right, Walter? That'd be cool. That's what I love about the World Cup. It's like the... It's aside from the Olympics. It's the only sport in the world that you can legit call yourself the world champs. Because they have a tournament just for that. And it takes three years to qualify for it. Lonnie Walker the fourth for the Spurs. Like, the NBA too. How can you call yourself the, the world champs? And you're only playing people from North America. Like, that That don't make no sense. But that's kind of how we do it in America. We're just, uh... We ju we're just going to ignore everybody else. <laughs> James Johnson. The Heat. Uh, uh, autograph. I actually seen this dude at a... At a bar not too long ago. But I was afraid to say hi. Because he is a... He's a big guy. You know, you, you always consider your... I've always considered myself kind of a big dude. I mean, I'm not really tall, but, you know. I, I can hold my own. Scott Levy, you see the 25 for the Kings? I seen that dude, and I was like, well, let me sit my ass back down. There's a world championship of baseball. Well, see, that's... Yeah, you mean the world, the world baseball classic? Yeah, see, that's a cute little tournament, but it's still not on par with the World Cup. The World Cup by far, and like, I'm, I'm biased on this one, but the World Cup is by far the greatest tournament on the planet. The way you wait to 99 for the heat, simply because it involves the entire planet. It takes three years to qualify for. Out of thousands of nations that there are worldwide, and on Moose at 199 for the Nets, of the thousands of nations, well, there's like a thousand something nations in, in, in the planet. Only, like, what is it, 32 teams advance? It's the greatest tournament in the world. And I can't wait for the next one, which is, I think, next year. No, is it next year? It can't be. Well, yeah, soccer's worldwide, but there's a few other sports that are worldwide. Like football, I get, I get football. That's an American thing, but baseball's worldwide. You know, we could do a, like a FIFA tournament with with baseball. Uh, we could do the same thing with uh, with basketball. Not for nothing, basketball's become. A worldwide sport too. The problem with those sports is, it, you know, they cost a lot more money than a soccer team would. At least in my opinion.
tennis is worldwide. Golf is worldwide too. Cricket and rugby are mostly like European sports. Like Africa too. Australia. Asia as well. Maybe not so much Asia. Basketball is pretty huge in Asia. Top rookies in the game. Trey Young of the Hawks. Yes, they do. Ra ra. I, I don't know about that one, but they definitely love their basketball. Sick hit there for the Hawks. That Trey Young. You ain't lying, James. It's all about the monies at the end of the day. But you know, it, it'd be cool. Eventually, technology will get to that point. Like once we master hypersonic travel and we can get you know from Miami to Australia in a couple hours instead of you know 16 or whatever it takes like once we get that technology down and we can actually commute to other countries I think we can start having like worldwide tournaments and leagues and stuff like that, that would be super cool man George, 189 Thunder. Another, uh, oh, this is Spurs, actually. Nazir Muhammad with the Spurs autograph. It's another worldwide sport. Well, now gaming, like, honestly. There's a little Luca insert. Gaming is probably the one sport that, like, can transcend logistics since it's all over the internet. That, I, I, I still don't know how I feel about competitive gaming. Like, maybe I'm upset because, uh, you know, this wasn't a thing when I was a child. And I could have dominated. Especially at Mario Kart. What? Mario Kart World Champ over here. Let's we'll separate that Luka uh, rookie there. Sleeve it up and stuff. You know, we'll do the same with the other rookies, but Luca's extra special. He's extra special. Well, some people would uh, argue that, JMS. It wouldn't be me, because I, I agree with you, but, you know, some people do consider it a sport. Now we got to ask ourselves a question. What exactly constitutes a sport? You know, we we can get into the uh, into the particulars later. Exactly. You see, look at Walter. Walter said he was in a MLB 2K12, and this was nine years ago. I'm sorry, seven years ago. Uh, perfect game tourney. Only eight of us in the. That's craziness. Yo, rah rah, not for nothing. I, I dude, I, I I really love this job. I really do. You know, it has its rough parts. And, you know, it, it is a grind every single day. But I, I do look forward to coming to the office every day. Uh, I do like the challenge. And, dude, it's sports. I mean, I fucking I love sports. Come, talk some sports. Rip open some stuff. Hopefully hit some bangers. What I really want to do is, uh, after tax season is over and, I ha and I've paid taxes or whatever, I want to find a warehouse or like an office space or something where I could uh, where I could start my YouTube channel that I've been talking about. That's that's what I really want. I want to get like residual income. 
I want to be my own boss. And not for nothing, I think I'm pretty entertaining. I have lots of ideas. It's just a matter of uh, doing it. And people are willing to pay for your stuff, man. Like, there's, there's, there's stuff called Patreons and GoFundMes and, and all kinds of stuff. I just got to pretend to have boobies and get that money. Walter Novak, uh, d nice. You won 20K playing, just playing a video game. How awesome is that? Exactly, Ra Ra. You already know. RCS. I might have to copyright that. I might have to. We're live at Rip City Studios. You got Uncle Jesse playing uh, a little MLB The Show. I don't know. But it'd be, it'd be cool, you know, in the future. Me and Ninja, who I who I think is like the top streamer on Twitch. Me and Ninja play a game of something, and I whip his ass. And I lay the verbal smack down like only Uncle Jesse can. And then, boom, I'm famous. And then forget about it. Dreams, hashtag dreams come true. <laughs> hashtag uh, keep dreaming. Got Quevin uh, Huerta of the Hawks. Very nice. It's ridiculous. It's, we live in a crazy time, JMS. We live in a crazy time. We live in a time where people pay people to do like real life things. Like instead of going to Niagara Falls and experiencing Niagara Falls for yourself, People will donate money to streamers to go record something at Niagara Falls. It's like, oh my god, it's like I'm there. Yeah, you, you can go, but you'd rather see this streamer do it for you. It's... <sighs> voyeurism is getting taken to another level, I guess. I don't know. We live in weird times, man. We do. We live in some weird-ass times. Yo, the, uh, I was thinking about that. Uh, Ra Ra, definitely want to get some reaction videos, do some skits, and, and uh, I personally, you know, I'll just throw it out there, like an idea I have, because I, I, I like watching movies and documentaries and stuff like that, so I, I kind of want to do like a, like a monthly, like review, I guess, of like videos on Netflix and Hulu, because Netflix cycles through their videos every now and then. So I can be like, oh, you know, this is Uncle Jesse's top picks for the month or something. Like, definitely check this out. Like, and I can break it down by genres. Like, oh, I like horror movies. So I'd be like, if you like horror movies, check these movies out. If you like action, check these movies out. For my ladies, check this out. You know, so on and so forth. I got ideas. I got ideas. Roscoe Robertson, 199 bucks. It's just really, I really need a, like, I need a place to do this. Because... Like, I can't do it at, from the house. Can't do it from the crib. Because I'm a, I'm a night owl, man. I, you know, I'm mostly active at, like, 3 in the morning. Alan Crabb for the Nets. Nets have been balling. This is true, JMS. You, you, you are not lying. You are not lying. Kevin Durant, Warriors 99. Thank you for the uh, for the vote of confidence, uh, JMS. I love that about you, bro. You you don't ever BS nobody. I love don't ever change player. Ra Ra, you should know by now that I could care less what anyone thinks of me. But I do appreciate criticism. You know, that, that's how you learn. I don't even know who that is, Jamie. Who the hell is Marco Rubio? The James Corbin of card. I don't even know who that is. 
But that would be cool, though. Like, that's one thing I thought about. Like, eventually, if I could get big enough at this, you know, have athletes be like a guest breaker or something. And, you know, and as we're breaking, I'm interviewing him and whatnot. I kind of like, I don't know if you guys watch Hot Ones on on YouTube. And Sean Evans is the, the dude that, inter he, like, interviews people while they eat, like, hot wings. And there's like 10 wings, and they all vary in, in hotness from 1 through 10, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, or whatever. Can I, I like playing video games, JMS. Sheesh. Believe it or not, there's there's more to life than, than cardboard, man. Well, no, Ra Ra, I wouldn't let them actually touch the cards. I'm going to do that. I learned that lesson. I'm not going to let no other person do the break. I got that. But, uh, no, nah, like, he could be, like, right here, you know? this Where all these monster boxes are at, I could have the athletes sitting there, and, you know, we're talking shit, and good times. And then, you know, you guys there in the chat, while during the live stream, can ask questions, and he can respond to you, or he or she. You know, we don't discriminate. I would love to have Serena Williams up in here. Nah, see, JMS, if we did that, that would be a huge... Like, I, I can guarantee there would be people like, Oh my God, he messed the cards up. It took forever. But, I, you know, I guess I can see where you're coming from, too. You know, let them touch the card. Oh my God, this was touched by... Freaking, you know, Bryce Harper or something. Oh, my God, it's a one of one. Look, look at the video. You can see at the 1137 mark, Bryce Harper touched my card. Oh, my God. Rah, rah. And it would be hilarious just to see my reactions laughing at them, <laughs> laughing at their pain. <laughs> a series one break, dude, that thing will take like three hours, probably. And it would be the most entertaining three hours of your life. Hell yeah, JMS. One day, man. One day your boy gonna get to that level. Alright, let's knock out this last box here. Celtics. Ah, uh, you think so, Rara? I don't know, man. I, I feel like some some could be cool as hell. Michael Beasley, 99 Lakers. We got us a rookie here for the Rockets, Marquise Chris. He is in a Suns uniform, but it does go to the Rockets. As you can see there. Like, I would, dude, I would, that would be awesome, JMS, but, you know, quite frankly, nobody knows who I am. Like, until my name becomes, like, synonymous with breaking, I, I don't see them uh, offering me any sponsorships anytime soon. But it's all right, though. You know, I'm only, dude, this is only year two. Year two of the Uncle Jesse experiment. Morris Wagner, Lakers autograph. I 
put a red on that. Alrighty. Let's do the damn thing. That's it for the break. So, to recap, actually, before I recap it, we had two Luca rookie cards. That's nice, but unfortunately, spoiler alert, no Luca autograph. We got these two relics here. Right, there's two teams on each. There's Spurs Grizzlies on the left, Grizzlies Rockets on the right, respectively. So, I'm going to give one. Well, actually, they're not duplicates, so I can't give one to each, so we do need to random them. If you could cooperate, all right, here. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Boom. Odd number five. So we have Grizzlies here and the Spurs here. So this will go to the... To the you know, JMS, you know what's fun? Dude, oh, man. Let me... Let me finish this, cause you just I'm about to I'm about to blow your mind right quick. I'm pretty sure I've told you this already, but wait. So this will go to the Grizzlies and this will go to the Spurs. Uh, we did get a low numbered parallel, numbered five of ten, Demarcus Cousins for the Warriors, but the autographs that's what you care about. We got Wagner Lakers twenty five, Chris Rockets, Crab Nets. Quarter Hawks, Mohammed Spurs, Trey Young of the Hawks, very nice. James Johnson Heat, Lonnie Walker Spurs, Arvidas Abonis Trailblazers, and Elio Cobo Suns. And that was a break, my friends. Thank you very much.